Hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here, and in this video, I want to share with you social media posts for you to get success on social media. All right, so if you're new to the channel, please do me a huge favor, just take 0.5 seconds to just smash that big thumbs up that you see, and also the subscribe button. It helps us out absolutely hugely on this channel. And when we get to 50,000 subscribers, we're actually gonna be bumping up this channel from one video a week to two videos a week, which means there's double the help, double the love, double the support for you to build your network marketing business, and any business really, on the so in the social media online space. All right, so here we go. Social media posts for success. Whether you have an online brand, an online business, a traditional business you wanna take online, a network marketing business, an affiliate marketing business, an internet marketing business, whatever it is, there's three things that people need to have or do in order to buy from you. And you've probably heard this before. They need to know, like, and trust you before they buy. The same is when it comes to like traditional sales. Most people will say that if you meet with someone, you get a chance to know them, to like them and trust them. And people do business with people who they know, like and trust. So how the heck do we create that on social media? Well, there are so many different posts. And you know, one thing I would say is if someone posts a photo of their dinner, is that gonna get people to know, like and trust you? Probably not. Now it might get people to like you because you might think, oh, I really love beef stroganoff. Or I, I don't know, not too sure I went with beef stroganoff there. I really like beef stroganoff. I really like pasta. pasta. Yeah, I should have just gone with pasta. Imagine if there was no pizza or pasta in the world. Like, I mean, that would be a, that would be a bad day. That would be a really, really bad day. Anyway, this happens on this channel from time to time, but please don't not give us a thumbs up and not subscribe because of our tangents. Um, anyway, we're gonna give the value, I promise. Right, so people might people might do that, but here, here's the thing. We need to create the know, like, and trust, and here's how we do it. So let's go here, let's go. We need to get the know, the like, and the trust. So what we're gonna create is we're gonna create our very own social media funnel. Right, where we're gonna funnel people in. So a funnel from like a 2D side on perspective looks something like this, although I've absolutely messed it up, but I'm not gonna start the video again to make it perfect. Messy action always wins, so please annoy, please ignore my errors there. We've made a few on this video already, but stay with us, right? So messy or Ronaldo. Me messy or Ronaldo. Oh my god. Alright, okay, all right. No. Like trust. Again. <laughs> and then the sale is made. So, we get people coming into our world by them knowing us, right? So we grow we grow our followers when people start to know us. Very, very simple, very straightforward. But how do we do that? What are the social media posts that we need to create in order to make that happen? Well, there are three types usually. So I would say they are educational, entertaining, or emotional. So educational, entertaining, or emotional. And if you have energy, that's gonna help. If you have enthusiasm, that's also gonna help, obviously, right? So educational, you teach something. So, so whatever, you, whatever your niche is, whatever your brand is, the three top tips to, the three, lesson the three lessons learned, my four favorite things, just kidding, my five favorite things, but whatever it might be, you're gonna educate. Why? If you educate and someone goes, oh, bingo, like that makes it, that's why we have the, the light bulb here because when you have a bingo moment, it's usually a light bulb moment and that always reminds us that's what you're looking for. My daily method of operation, little side note, is help someone new and learn something new. That's why I have this here. Anyway, so you educate something, three things. Most people, when you ask them then to share it, most people will share it if they've got value. Oh, I need to tell my friend Jimmy about this. I need to tell my friend Mary about this. I need to tell my friend Bob about this, right? So they share it with people who they think is gonna get value from that. If it's entertaining, think about TikTok. TikTok and Instagram Reels are blowing up right now, so much so that Facebook are launching uh, Facebook Reels as well. Because entertaining videos, short entertaining videos that people make people laugh, they comment on, they share on, they tag their friends in, and so on and so forth. And then emotional. Now this is a different kind, but think about it. Um, and it can be entertaining. There, were used, there was a woman who did a video 
few years ago, I think it was like six years ago now, and she was outside like a Walmart in the US in a car, and she was wearing a Chewbacca mask, and she was kind of doing like the brrrr, like the, the Chewbacca impression, that was a shocking one, but the Chewbacca impression, and it blew up, she went viral, because people were laughing, Laughing is, emo is emotion. Crying is emotion. So when you're sharing something vulnerable, don't be afraid to hold back, right? If you share something vulnerable. Now, I don't wanna go deep into the story, but one of the biggest pieces of content that I ever did, one of the biggest social media posts that I ever did was actually, I was actually in my car. I'd, I'd, been, I'd been, had a rough week with like a three day period of just dealing with a ridiculous amount of focused hate. Uh, it was hate, they were making all, all sorts of vicious rumors. It really affected me. Beginning of my journey, right? It was just really affected me. And I got in the car, I was outside a, I was outside a Tesco's supermarket in the UK, car was on, I went live and I, I kind of broke down into tears. Uh, I, I did my best not to, the intention wasn't to cry on the camera, but I thought, you know what? I, I'm just gonna let this go and see, see what happens from it. Uh, there was no intention from it. This was before I had the structure with social media posts and all that fun stuff. And I had 1,300 personal inboxes within 48 hours of people saying, we appreciate you, we love you, keep going, ignore this, ignore that. Uh, and that was the day that I really understood that, you know, when you when you show genuine emotion, that's not like, it's not like planned, like, oh, on Monday at 7 p.m. I'm gonna be emotional. When you just do it, a lot of people will come to you because a lot of people will support you in different ways. So this is how we get people to know you. Right, we educate, we entertain, and we show emotion. Emotion. Second stage is we are then the people then need to like us. Right? How do people like us? Well, we make posts in our stories, or we mention it on lives, or we make posts about it in our newsfeed, or we do reels about it that show personal. They're personal posts. Now, this could be like what I said before, like things that you eat. Now, if you're just making posts about what you eat all the time, like dinner time. Like, you're not gonna get, people aren't gonna know you from that, right? This is why a lot of people post lifestyle. A lot of lifestyle posts won't get people to know you, but they'll get people to like you. So you on holiday, you with your kids, you walking your dog, you eating your spaghetti carbonara. I love spaghetti, I love spaghetti carbonara. It's so good. Like, the first half of a spaghetti carbonara is really great. Second half can get a bit heavy. That's just my point of on, on spaghetti carbonara, right? You talk... You're on, he's on Deliveroo now, I love it. Little, uh, we haven't got an affiliate link for Deliveroo, but yeah, we use them. Right, so you you can, like, again, like, what, what, what dress should I wear, red or black? I mean, <laughs> not me, right? I'm talking about, like, if you're a female and you wear dresses, like, I'm not wearing a dress, red or black? Or, um, you know, who's gonna win the, for, like, love the Formula One, who's gonna win this season? Definitely Lewis Hamilton, I hope, that's a prediction, fingers crossed, right? So. You're gonna mention things per, that, that you like, that you love, that's gonna get people go from, oh, I know this person, ah, I like this person, they're cool. Because people will like you because of who you are, what you like, what your interests are, right? That's how it is, very simple. Trust, how do you get people to trust you? Well, my equation for trust is truth plus time equals trust. If you tell the truth, you're seen to be truthful over a long period of time, some people a day, Depends, like, you can let me know in the comments, are you someone who trusts people quickly or it takes a lot of time? I'm someone, I give my trust. If you break it, it's over. But if you don't, like, I trust you for a very long time. So truth plus time, you can take a day, you can take a week, you can take a month, you can take a year, it can take whatever, it can take forever and ever and ever, but truth plus time, right? So how do you create the trust? Well, this is where you use what I call inspirational posts. I'm just gonna put inspo. What are the posts that you can inspire people? Remember guys, motivation lasts a short time, inspiration can last forever. So what are the posts that you're making that are inspiring your followers? Inspiring them to one day be like you? Inspiring them to one day have what you've got? Inspiring one day to be in a position that you're in? Inspiring one day to have the energy and the respect and the, and the authority and the followership that you have, right? What's the inspiration? So you could post things of like, this is what I used to be, this is what life was like, this is what life's like now, right? It could be, this is, meet Sarah. I've been mentoring Sarah for a few weeks, a few months, a few years, and this is where she is. If you're in the network marketing space, take photos at the next event that you're able to go to, once you're able to, get to know their story. So you go to, I don't know why I'm using pens here, but you go to Mary, hey Mary, I can't believe I'm doing this. You go to Mary, hey Mary, can I, what's your story? Right? 
my story is da -da 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 -da. Now you're either videoing this, or you're audio capturing it, this, or you're writing it down on a piece of paper. Now Mary might be thinking this is weird, so you might discuss this before, right? So Mary's like, blah, 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 and you're like, oh, that's such an awesome story, amazing. Two things, can I have a photo with you? Now in the network marketing space, that's like that's like the you know the holy grail. Yeah, sure, woohoo! So you're like selfie, and someone else is taking a photo of you, and everything's great and wonderful, and and, and all that fun stuff. And then you say, Mary, uh, thanks so much for your story. Great getting to know you. Are you cool if I post this on social media at some time? Now Mary, most of the time, I go, yeah, yeah, sure. Tag me in when you do it. So now what you can do is you can have a collection of inspiration. You can have a collection of stories that people have used from the business, the service, or the product that you're involved in, right? The same as you have a, a, a traditional brand and you have an event, capture the testimonials and the stories, and every week, every two weeks, post one. Meet Mary, meet Bob, meet Sarah. Three weeks ago, two months ago, a year ago, they started to use the product that I also use. They started to, they started to build the business that I also build. And they've been able to get, they've been able to do X, Y, and Z. Obviously, some people have compliance issues, so make sure you check on that before you do that. But that's a great way to inspire. When you are seen as the common denominator, everything goes up. For example, if you are on stage and Tony Robbins is the, the is a speaker, Bob Proctor is a speaker, Les Brown is a speaker, um, Mel Robbins is a speaker and you're the common denominator, you're, you're friends with these people, you're on stage with all these people, things go up. If people see you with, with, a, with Mary, who has, who's had a result, you with Bob, who's had a result, you with Steve, who's had a result, you with Sarah, who's had a result, you're the common denominator, you inspire people. Now, here's the problem on social media, right, guys? One big problem is if you know, like, and trust someone, it still doesn't mean that you're gonna just message them and go, hey, Jimmy, really love what you're doing. Like, I'm gonna buy from you, I'm gonna join from you. I know, mate, I know, wakey, wakey, right? <laughs> He's, no, what, what? <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so, um, like, I know Tony Robbins, I like Tony Robbins, I trust Tony Robbins. But I've never messaged Tony Robbins saying, hey, Tony, love what you've got going on, love your stuff. So the last kind of post we need to create is what I call conversational posts. Conversational posts, which could also be classed as the way you convert. Conversations lead to conversions, which lead to commissions. If you try to get a commission without a conversation, you will fail. That's why a lot of people on social media who are influencers and they do their swipe up to buy now, it doesn't last the test of time because you're so focused on getting the conversion that you're ignoring the conversations about the product, right? If you're ever gonna do something like that, Share like the story of how you started using it, why you started using it, the benefits of you using it instead of, this is a really great product, swipe up now to buy. No, let's not do that, let's change that, right? So conversational posts are posts that make it easy for people to conversate, have a conversation with. So Instagram stories, polls, right? Like, hey, if you were to like, let's, ha let's, ha let's help me and my wife, you know, um, kind of, complete this debate, finalize this debate, end this debate. What's better, right? What's better, spaghetti carbonara or spaghetti bolognese? Which one's yours? Carbonara or bolognese? Oh, we have to think about it. That's where the debate, that's where. You can't say both. You can, and he's just said something in French, which is not fair. Penne. Penne. Rosé. Rosé. <laughs> <sighs> Typical. He's always, he's always complicating things. But it sounded so much better saying penne rosé than a spaghetti carbonara or spaghetti bolognese. Anyway, you create conversation. So someone says bolognese, someone says carbonara, or some smart ass goes in the comments saying penne rosé. And then with like a, with a, one of these emojis and a French flag and a little like le coq sportif uh, emoji. I don't know what it's called, but it, a, and a baguette, right? And a chef's beret, right? So yeah, that's the response you're getting. But it creates conversation. Right, it, we, me and Jimmy now are going to have a side conversation once we're done here about penne rosé, and he's going to be uh, challenged to make his best penne rosé. Rosé, rosé, deliver. Oh, he's deliver, de, deliver rowing. Um, is that a thing? Deliver rowing. Anyway, we've got on a few tangents on here. Conversational posts. You just ask a question. Like, if you're going to make a post about where you're traveling to, you would ask, 
Where, where, what's your favorite tra- what's your favorite travel destination if you're going to do a story about the food you're eating you know what's your fa- what's your favorite food right if you're going to buy a car if you're going to go buy a car or you're going to go out for a drive like what car do you have or what's your dream car asking questions i might be thinking those are weird questions but i'm just delivering this training with no notes right so i'm just whatever's coming to my mind i'm, I'm sharing with you hence the tangents right so um, these are the four things. EPIC, which is epic, which now helps you create epic social media posts. So here's what I would love for you to do. I would love for you to do this. Let me know what your favorite type of uh, social media post is. Chances are a lot of you guys will say personal because they're very easy to do. But I challenge you to start looking at the number of posts you do. And honestly, this is not, this is not like the exact percentage but this should be 70% of the posts that you make. This should probably be about 20%, and then this could be 10%, 10%, and then this could be 10%, right? When you get very good with your social media posts, what you'll find is that you could educate in in an educational, highly energetic, emotional way by sharing bits of your story in those educational clips, inspiring people through who you're helping by sharing those testimonials, and then asking questions in the captions or throughout. If you can get all four, you're gonna, you've mastered social media posting. This rule applies on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, all the different social media platforms. But let me know down below in the, in the chat what you need help with the most, right? So let me know what your favorite type of post is or what you need help with the most so that I can do, you know, reply-based content to help you. So, hey, Mary said, Mary Smith said that she needed help with knowing what posts, like on what kind of posts to make so then I can help answer that video. But also, please, 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 I'm begging you with this one. I'm begging you, literally. I'm begging, begging you. Uh, that was it and there's the copyright we cannot monetize this there's probably no ads on this video now but anyway right give us a thumbs up we massively appreciate that hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos coming soon when we hit 50,000 subscribers we will be doing two videos a week to help you grow your business on social media in the online space again let me know in the comments down below and if you would like social media based reading material uh then go over to uh go over and check out my best-selling books i dare you and i double dare you the link is in the first line of the description down below and have an incredible rest of your day and see you on the next video bye bye that one i reckon was 12 and a half minutes How was it? 19. That was 19 minutes. (laughs) No, it was not.